So now let's take a look at alignment and grouping option inside of Adobe Dimension. So over here you can see that there's 3D models. So I'm going to bring in this gift bag as an example for the alignment option. So for alignment, what you can do is, of course, you can move this around and then use this pivot point to snap it onto a ground plane as we saw in last lesson. But here we're going to see a bit more of an alignment option. So if I were to, let's say, for example, drag this on the top, what happens is that it's on thin air. And if I were to bring this back on ground, I can actually click the pivot point and it comes back to the ground, but it does not come right below uh, where the shadow is there. So in order to snap it back onto the ground, I can actually select this and then I can click on uh, move to ground option right over here on the right side as you can see. So as I click on it, it comes down just like that. So that's one option. If you were to rotate this out just like this, now if I were to uh, press move to ground, let's see what happens. It actually pushes the model up so that uh, the S is aligned to the ground. So I can actually rotate it all the way around. And if I were to click on move to ground, it aligns right onto the ground, as you can see, just like that. So you want to make sure if something is over here, just like that, you want it to be aligned to ground, then you can actually press this button right over here. So that's one option that you can use. So if I were to rotate this out now, you can see that it is rotating in this angle, in the angle that I tilted. So yeah, if I tilt it in this angle, just like that, and if I were to rotate this around, it rotates on that particular angle, as you can see. But what I can do is I can also rotate it according to the world view. So for that, I can go over here, just like that on the select tool, just select and hold and over here you have an option known as align to scene so let's see what happens when we do that so we can click on align to scene and once we do that now you can see that the pivot point the uh, rotation it is aligning according to the will and not according to the object so now i can rotate it around just like this so i can rotate it around like this and the uh, rotation handles all our manners according to the world and not according to the object. You want to turn that off, you go back over here and then turn off align to scene and then it will be aligned by the object. But once you turn it on, it will be aligned just like this, as you can see. And this is how uh, you can align things in Adobe Dimension. So over here on the right side again, so let's see some actions that we have. So this is the object right over here. And here I have an option to duplicate the object. Once I click that, a duplicate has been made. I can just simply pull this on the right side. And over here on the top, we can see that under the scene, you see the environment, you see the camera, and under that, underneath that, you can see the groups of object. Actually, these 3D models, these are groups, meaning the plastic and everything else, they are actually not um, the same. Um, not the same, but are actually groups. So what does this mean? Let's see. So I can go over here, delete that out by pressing the delete key. Let's work with this gift bag. So you can see that there's the paper. So if I were to pull this out, you can see the paper is a separate entity right over here. And that is a group right here. And the bag is a separate entity right over there. So for the paper, I can move it around and then place it in another location just like this as well. Same goes with many of the other 3D models that you can find over here. For example, let's go around uh, with uh, this twist jar right over here. This is also a group. Let me just focus onto it by pressing F just like that. And over here, you can see that this is a group as well. There's the lid. I can pull off the lid over here, pull it out right over here, and then rotate it around just like this. So you can see that the lid and the jar, they are two different models right over here. So you can just pull it out onto the side just like that. So these are two different models. And what this is, is this is a group. You can also create your own group. So uh, let's say, for example, I bring in this cube right over here. So this is a cube. I can create a duplicate of it. So I can just duplicate this out. And you can see that I can create a duplicate of this. I can create another duplicate of this over here. So now what I can do is I can make all of them a group. So according to the placement I have, I can make all of them. So you can see that cube one, two, three, all of them now can be a part of the group. So you can 
uh, select all of them and press Ctrl Z or press this icon right over here. So Ctrl Z it is. And once you do that, now you can see right here on this panel, it's a group. So all of them have been linked together. And if I were to select the group right here and over here in the selection tool as well, I'm actually select my group select is actually on. I can turn it off to select the object. But if I were to go over here and turn on the group select, it selects the overall group. And as I move this around, rotate this around, you can see that all of the three cubes move together just like this. So all of the three cubes are moving together as if they are a single entity. So that is what grouping is all about. You can also select individual cubes from right over here and then move that individually as if it was still a single object. You can also go over here and turn off group select. What that does is it selects individual objects just like this and you're allowed to move each of them separately. So let's try that out over here as well. So uh, over here on, uh, like say for example, this one, this table right over here, this is also a group. So I can go over here and as I select the, uh, as I just uh, deselect the group select, go over here, it can actually go around and select just the cloth, just like that, as you can see. So that is how you can work around uh, with the uh, alignment option and grouping option inside of Adobe Dimension. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.